It's a risk with any shared space. After two thefts and two months at one South End apartment package room, residents are starting to ask questions. As Queen City News reporter Sydney Heimberger tells us, what's in your lease may surprise you. A reality of apartment living. Packages are often delivered to supposedly secure mail rooms rather than to your door. That's the case at the Hub South End Apartments. There's a security checkpoint to get into the mail room and another to get into the package area. I don't know what more you could do besides video cameras or having somebody, I guess, stand guard out here. But At the Hub, that security system failed twice in the past two months. Residents received an email on August 9th saying a man was caught on the package room surveillance system, opening packages and rummaging through them. Apartment managers told residents, quote, to prevent this from happening in the future, you can help us by braving the social awkwardness of not letting someone into the package room or the building behind you. But on Wednesday, it happened again. So, I mean, if it happens more than once, definitely I think this is seen as like a, you know, a target. The lease at the hub states we're not liable to you or any guests or occupants for injury, damage or loss to person or property caused by criminal conduct. It also says we're not obliged to furnish security personnel, security lighting, security gates or fences or other forms of security. Charlotte attorney Walter Bauer says that's where things get a little hairy. North Carolina state law says landlords do have a responsibility to provide a safe and secure premises. In a situation where a landlord is put on notice that there's criminal activity happening, uh, they just can't um, stroke their shoulders and walk away as if they don't have any responsibility. There is some reprieve for tenants. Renters insurance will sometimes cover the theft of personal belongings. In South End, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News. Yeah, definitely want to read the fine print. Queen City News reached out to the apartment complex and we were directed to their management company and they have yet to return our calls.